Yeah, I didn't cut. Out through here, though? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I didn't cut any of this. This was all lined with this over here. right here. Why would you want a French drain? I didn't do it. This was already done. So when yeah. the sewage over here, and I know when I knew that the sewage was here and I pumped it out, that's when the water, when I, when I treated it, and then the water started foaming up on the other side. I put uh, um, hydrogen peroxide in there and stuff, and it foamed up out here, so I'm like, oh my gosh. So I pulled it up, it's and, it's and, it's and then... This is like totally black in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now... The, the plumber said that it wasn't hooked up on the uh, the sewer line. And he said, we're going to charge you $3,500 to find the sewer line. So I'm coming, I came down here. Now, this is the drain. This was in place. I mean, and, and clay pipe, is that what that's the sewer. That's the sewer? That's the sewer. This right here, this side of the clay pipe has been cut and filled with cement. And this right here was all covered over. Um, we, we would get a whiff now and then of the sewage. I didn't know. We don't have a good sense of smell at all. I don't know. That was done. This was underground. This is not not ground, but it was had a little bit of uh, sand and sod and this stuff on it. All the way back, the power line comes from. Let me show you this. The power line. This is the city right of here. Now, when you're walking up right now, I didn't know this until afterwards. That all lost was replaced here. All of it. Every last bit of it. Try to get rid of all the sewage in here. There's over maybe 2,000, 2,500 gallons of raw sewage. Okay, so what I did is I started remediating it per the EPA standards. Okay, using uh, lime uh, and things like that. Lime, uh, ammonia, and uh, 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 sorry, I'm a little. Okay, let me take a quick look in this other unit. I noticed that the bulk over here. Okay, well, I got the rest to show you right here. It's, uh, well, yeah. I, I think part of well, the issue, the issue, a lot of this is related, and I want to go back and make it really, really clear what we're here to do today. We're not going to be, uh, we're, we're not interested in the part where, in the past history. We're looking at what's here today. If you, if you are stating the case that the, the property owner was non-responsive to your claims and so on and so forth, that's that's certainly an issue. What we're looking at is not interested interested in the part where in the past history. We're looking at what's here today. If you if you are stating a case that the, the property owner was non-responsive to your claims and so on and so forth, that's that's certainly an issue. 
what we're looking at is what are the issues there today, is the property habitable, and what needs to be done to the property in order to, to in order to remedy the current situation. Okay. This, this whole issue about what went on in the future between you and Heath is really something you're gonna have to tell me. Okay. These were gas emissions from here. Did you notice that now I cut this. This is very important. I cut what? Oh, um, I, I, these are gas emissions right here. I cut through the lawn, okay, and what I found was complete raw sewage throughout the entire property. This is all sewage right here, and I folded it in. It's been tested. Remedies done were per EPA standards, current standards, as of uh, 2010. You said there's a bunch of stuff in here, so it is a crash. They, they, stuff in the back is all theirs. A lot of stuff in here on the side theirs, all that. But if you test this, take any samples, which we should. There's a layer of this stuff right here. And this is why... Nobody's, nobody's doubting that no, there's no, no. sewage here. Oh, no, 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 but I mean the fire department. This, this right here, okay, is a layer of clay, oil embedded clay that goes underneath the entire property and all the way through. Right yeah. here. You can see it goes underneath. It's been here very for a long time. It goes actually underneath the, uh, the cold stuff right there. All right. Now, that, I was concerned that it may have been toxic because of the, uh, uh, the way that it's uh, uh, working on. Yeah. At night, and when it's cold, the gas company came out and told us to call 911. So we definitely had gas. This? Okay. I'm going to show you. This looks right here got folded in and what have you back. That hole goes all the way down. I don't know how long. Well, you're talking about a complaint of me. Let's look at the rest of the Okay. Let's do this. Let's one conversation at a time. Let's talk about all of Okay, so, I mean, we've heard a lot about the history that led up to this event. Well, what's here now is I need to, I'm, I'm going to be sued. This is why I got locked down, because I was threatened to, to be sued. I was sued. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Okay. When it's cold, when it's cold, when it's cold, so, History that led up to this event. Well, what's here now is I need to. I'm, I'm going to be sued. Okay. So, I mean, we've heard a lot about the history that led up to this event. Well, what's here now is I need to. I'm, I'm going to be sued. This is why I got kind of locked down because. I was threatened to, to be sued for making any repairs after they had completely turned their back on us. Landlord's One, under okay, I understand. Yeah. Um, okay. The other thing is the city, um, uh, through uh, Tony Escamara, he said everything has got to be taken out of here immediately. That's a health department issue. Okay. In terms of in terms of the soil, if the health department makes that call, that's their call. So let me just make it clear. Tony doesn't make the calls for the health department. The health department makes the calls for the health department. So if, if Ophelia says there's an issue, there's an issue. If not, not. So we'll leave that to okay. the health department. Okay. I've, I've requested things in writing, all kinds of stuff, to see if I could throw this out. I was promised a, a, tr a tungster, a truck, even a crew. Let, let me, let me clarify that also. There may have been some miscommunication. The city does not provide trucks, and the city does not provide dumpsters. Okay. Well, that was... I, uh, I, let me just say this. My staff know that the, that the city doesn't provide trucks and dumpsters. There may have been a miscommunication. True. Now, the, the city has what's called the MASH program, which is maintenance, assistance, and service to homeowners. For people that, that are meet a certain income threshold, uh, they paint houses and do minor repairs. We don't do yard cleanups. We don't provide dumpsters. We don't provide dumps. My staff know that. So okay. I'm not sure if there was some miscommunication between the two, but I just want to clarify so everybody's on the same page right now. Okay. So oh, well, here's, here's the thing. Is I was told to remove the trash. I ordered a, a trash pickup from the city. Um, so once a year, throw everything mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. And I was told by them that because we had sewage on the property, two 
Well, I put all these tarps up to protect okay. my neighbors. All right. They said I could go to jail if I did that. Okay. okay. Then I have to call the, uh, um, the... If that's what the they told day. you, then that's what I would go with then. Uh, that's, that's fine. Told me. So okay, that's fine. I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place. I want to start out. I don't want to be here. Um, we have an 18-month lease. We just we have completely just closed it on this deal. Just right. completely. So if, it, if the city is saying that they're not going to pick up the, the large item debris because there's sewage on it, then that's the answer. You don't put it out. If you need to make other arrangements, and you make other arrangements. If you need it, a roll-off dumpster, you get a roll-off dumpster. If you need it, that's going to, I mean, that's an issue that we don't have any control over. Okay. Do you, you have, is there a way to get some assistance for, or, or a clearance to say, hey, we have this uh, uh, situation here. We have people that have this stuff. It got destroyed. It's full of... Uh, clearance. When you say clearance, what do you mean? Well, just to say, go ahead and, and you can throw it away. The city, it sounds like you've already talked to Public Works. But what, what, what you've told me is Public Works has said, if there's sewage contamination, you can't. So I think what we're going to go on is what you've already but, said, is they said you can't throw it away. So, one, one of the yeah. I was told... That yeah. Was on is what you've already but, said, is they said you can't throw it away. So, one, one of the yeah. I was told. Mm -hmm. has said if what what you've told me is public works has said if there's what what you've told me is public what what you what what you've told me is public works has said if there's sewage contamination you can't. So I think what we're going to go on is what you've already said is they said you can't throw it away. So, yeah. I was told that because there was no water, that's when they shut the water off on the twenty third. Okay. The water was shut off. We called it a big finally came. That we call. Yeah. Okay. Many times. Okay. Now they came out and uh, shut the 